Hi, this is Joshua Stern. And Michael Walters. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams. And our goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so that you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to buying your own home or selling your own home or investing in your own property. So today's topic, I answer a question from our client pool. If you find your own buyer, will your real estate agent take less commission? Yeah, it's common misconception that landing a buyer all by yourself means that you're off the hook for paying your listing agent. Sure, the goal of selling a home is to find someone to buy it, but a lot goes into finalizing the sale, most of which is facilitated by the agent. So if you've signed a contract with an agent that outlines the terms of payment, there's a good chance that you're beholden to that amount, and that includes the commission as stipulated therein, even if you are the one who finds the buyer. You could ask your agent to reduce the commission, but be aware that he or she is not obligated to do so. Or you can ask your agent up front for a flexible commission plan that would allow for an adjusted commission should the seller find their own buyer. This is an agreement that the Stern team includes with all of its listing contracts. But let's address why your agent should still get some commission. So besides finding you a buyer, real estate agents do a lot to earn their keep. In fact, finding a buyer is only one of many responsibilities responsibilities an agent has to make your house look its best. After you accept the buyer's bid, the agent is doing all of the paperwork, including going through with the buyer's agent or any sort of legal representation. Um, in, in our state, we work a lot with our title companies. So don't underestimate the amount of detail that goes into a sale and the amount of expertise that you need to navigate a sale smoothly. All of that effort takes time. Okay, let's talk about negotiating an agreement with a real estate agent. So. Before signing an agreement with an agent, you have the opportunity to discuss the services that he or she will provide for you and how much you will pay for that help. If you're set on paying a lower commission fee, make sure it's outlined in your listing agreement, but keep in mind if you're planning on paying less, your agent may only be able to help you with a limited number of things. As with everything in life, you get what you pay for. Right. The agreement should outline the commission that you agree to pay, whether you can cooperate with other agents, the agent's responsibilities, the length of the contract, and whether you can cancel the contract. Again, I hope that this is useful for you, and thanks so much for asking such a great question. Please give us a call or send us an email directly if you have any real estate questions or needs. Yeah, and don't forget, you're able to get a free instant market evaluation on this site by clicking the Home Evaluation tab or click on the Home Search tab to search real-time all properties by all brokerages for the entire Wasatch Front.